welcome to today's video. I still got the brown hair going on. Once I wash it, it'll lighten up a lot. I go back to blonde. That's what happens these? to me. Like uh, yeah, I am. But welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, Friday before a show. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm just going to show you really quick what's been happening. So uh, Sophie's been collecting her eggs and I wanted to just show you an update on them. I love the chickens that we have because for the first time in forever, we actually have blue eggs and she's really good at producing. She just started and she has like really nice consistent sized eggs every single day she lays, which is amazing. And um, so we have a whole, almost a whole dozen of blue eggs. And then our Easter egger, wait, no, Easter egger lays these. Our white one, yeah, the white one, the older one that we had, she lays extra large eggs. You know, you go to the grocery store and you buy extra large eggs or large eggs, whatever. Our one chicken lays extra large eggs. And put it in the thing so they can see it. I'm gonna compare. This is a small egg, so I don't know if you can tell, but basically one of our chickens lays extra large eggs and i love that a full egg carton of blue egg yeah one more egg so uh, basically we're going to try and keep these eggs through the winter i say that every year and then we never do it because it gets cold and then i get scared of the cold like it's cold yeah because eggs can't stay they don't lay eggs in winter but i want to keep them for next year because they're really good chickens and they're doing awesome and so we're going to try that this year i am making apple crisp this morning because we got all those apples and we want to get that done apples are really good apples are really good you should try them if you're hungry and then yeah eat an apple yeah. apples are so good i chop it up and eat it yeah but i'm making apple crisp this morning hey sophie has a question she wants to ask you that's really close to my face sorry What's the question, sister? Um, do you guys want more baking videos? So if he wants to bake on Fridays after she's done some of her schoolwork, she wants to start baking on Fridays for like, uh, for like a different... Baking class. Yeah, for like a baking class. We've done that before. But anyway, she wants to know, do you want to see the fun, amazing things that she decides to make for a baking class? T guess what I... Put in the comments what you think I'm making today. And for Gabby is over there still studying hard doing her work she's been reading she's been studying grade nine is no no walk in the park and then sam is over there doing some work for me on my computer that i have to get done right that's why you have husbands you know do whatever you can't figure out but also um a change in our channel i just wanted to tell you guys so you guys might have noticed a change in the channels on youtube how it works views and all that kind of stuff big changes it's been happening for a while now so they're really focusing on shorts, which is kind of like TikTok or um, the Instagram, Instagram, whatever they call it on Instagram. So we haven't been focusing on that. So our channel has been uh, not keeping up with the new technology. And so I'm going to try and do that now. I'm going to start trying to make more short videos and post them on our channel. So if you guys see short videos popping up on our channel a lot, it's not because I'm posting them as our daily video it's because that's how you have to grow and change and evolve with social media so there will be more short videos some of them will be just clips taken from our videos and some of them will be things that I make specifically for YouTube short videos so um, I plan to do that coming up soon like start making more specific short videos so that we can be more competitive again like that's what has to happen so this is what Sophie's making she's going to try and make peanut butter Reese's peanut butter cups because why? Who can eat those? Me. And who else? Dad. And who are we taking it for tonight? Who? Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. I never knew that. Oh, so what? Because Brandon can I'm eat them. I'm making these. Yeah, and Brandon can eat them. He's gone gluten free, if you guys noticed. And so we want to try and make something that he can eat. I um, made, yeah. Um, I've made them before. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna try and make them a little smaller this time. Yeah. It's a sad day when our barn looks like this, when our arena looks like this. Daddy Pickle! Hi, girl! Hi, Daddy. Definitely trying to steal my mare. Hi! She's not super affectionate, but she is loving. Watch what I do. Do you guys want to see what I do to her every single time? And now Sophie does it too. Hey, come here. Okay, watch. Watch. Hi, listen. This summer I'll be by your side. Did you kiss me? I wonder <laughs> that 
<laughs> so that's how I taught my horse to kiss. <laughs> she, she licks my face. Try again. So this is weird. Like I even licked my horse. You gotta, you gotta. She only kisses the people she loves the best. <laughs> All right, honestly, she's the best, the best horse ever. Okay. Yeah, she has blood on her because I killed a mosquito. On you her. can jump what? I jumped four inches off the ground. Four inches off the ground like a grasshopper. Let's see it. <laughs> wow. wow, that's so impressive. I know. Wow. Okay, Willow's next she in line. Got she's next in line. All right, next in line. Oh, she likes kisses too. But my horse, her, did you I see my horse licking my face though? She wasn't actually touching her job. She, I got goo on my face. You mean the saliva on her lips? I don't know, was she using her tongue or her lips? I can never tell. I thought it was her tongue. Give me a kiss. Go out there people and find your horse's super power. No matter what it is, find their super power. My horse likes balls and kissing. So yeah, that's all of our stuff. We shoved it all in there, hoping it survives. Except for the ball. But we're gonna, I'm gonna work on Sam building a bridge, but we have a show tomorrow, so not yet. Oh, I can fit in there. Yeah, you can fit in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, you guys thought we made this as an obstacle course for our horses. But <laughs> it's a spider web. But in actuality, we made it so that Gabby could try and fit. Gracie's like, you can do it, Gabby. You can do it. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's gross. And she's like, throw that. But anyways, it's true. Our horses really love being worked with and having fun with them and stuff. Oh, dang it. And learning not to, uh-oh. Well, I wasn't even aiming for the ball. Get the ball, Molly. Get the ball. No, Molly. Molly, no. Ball. Molly, no. Gabby. She does it with any ball. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Penny thinks all balls are hers. So uh, tomorrow is a horse show and it's going to be interesting. Like so many things happening. Gabby and Sophie are both going to show and that's really fun. Really fun and really exciting. I like to just check and make sure that the cat has food and he's been here eating it. It comes a lot at night. So many components to this show. Sophie knows Finn best, rides Finn the most. I know him the best. You know him really well too. I trained him. I know, but so you I heard. I know him more than Sophia. But yeah, I've been riding him, so I am better with him. That yeah. means I still know how. But anyways, Gabby's never done jumper. Sophie's done a couple of shows. We're gonna see how it goes. It's exciting. It's not a competition. It is not a competition, you guys. All right, let's go. Sophie's showing in 18 inches. Gabby, what are you showing in? Two foot. Two I'm foot. Showing in cross rails, not 18 inches. Or Sophie's showing in cross rails. Is there 18 inches? No. Crossrails, two foot. Oh, all right. So we are out, whoa, out shopping. Um, we went to get all the stuff that we needed from the store for tomorrow because you guys know we're going to a show. I'm so super excited. Anyways, I'm talking to this girl on Snapchat. Sometimes I get, uh, I hardly ever get notifications, but sometimes like a, a notification will just pop on and it's horse and puppy lover. And she says she has her own YouTube channel called, oh, now I can't see it. Um, anyways, she was saying to me, you know, about, about House Penny and blah, 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 and she wants her own horse, and then I was just thinking, like, yeah, once you get your own horse, it's the best thing in the world, and then I was thinking, like, last October, almost a year ago, when I got my horse, I was so nervous, you guys, I was freaking out, I was like, is this the right thing? Should I have a horse? Do you think I could have a horse? Like, maybe I'll fail her, like, maybe I won't ride her enough, which I, I did ride her very religiously until she got until she had that injury I ride religiously, I ride religiously Gabby <laughs> um anyways so I like had all these fears and all these things and I was like Laura you should not get a horse like I'm not a horse owning person I'm not and then a year later I can't even imagine not having a horse like Penny you guys saw earlier in this video she her kissing me I have not seen her kissing me like I think she was licking me maybe she's using her bottom lip but when I go over and grab her face she puts her nose right to me and she puts it there and then she licks me and she doesn't do it to anybody else and 
I was just thinking, like, that girl, horse and pony lover, just made me realize, like, and think back, like, how a year ago I was so nervous and so afraid and thinking I maybe made the wrong choice. And here I am a year later, so much more in love and so happy, and it's just such a natural thing. Like, I can't imagine not having Penny in my life. And even if I just walk her around that property every single three times a week, whatever it is, or go down the road with her, I don't care. I love it. I love having her. I love her. I love her for her. She's incredible. But anyways, I was just thinking like, holy heck, what a change. And so I wanted to tell you guys that if you're afraid of making a choice, it's a big choice, then just go for it. You guys, if something is really close to your heart and and you want it go for it if it's a wrong choice then you can fix it later but if, but if it's the right choice then you don't run the risk of missing an amazing opportunity and owning a penny has been the best opportunity for me we're half in oh, I forgot to tell you you're going to a show tomorrow yeah we're gonna, he's like what again <laughs> so Finn didn't get his supper yet and sometimes he's a brat Chino. Chino's eating he said All right, so we did not plan well. Sophie says I have to wash the saddle pads tonight. I have, um... Bad planning problems? No, um, I have the horse that stands up most here. Because there's the no other only Palomino. Palomino. Yeah, lots of horses stand out. But, like, he's the only Palomino, so he's different colored. Yeah. So he kind of stands out more because he's not a bay or a chestnut or a paint. I think there's only one paint in the field. Anyways, we're at the barn. We're getting ready to ride. I'm looking out really far. I felt the tingle on my heart. The sun has set, the stars will appear. In many ways. Louise, Louise. Yeah. Lame. He's off. Higher. So where is he off, do you think? Uh, it's got to be high up. I thought it was the other leg. <laughs> so he needs Camaro. Alright, All right, so I don't know if you guys figured out what's happening, but Chino is not lesson worthy today. Oh, Maybe I have to put something on him. Never been in there at 5 it doesn't matter. We're going to be in there at 5 a.m. tomorrow. Did you tell Al what time we're coming? We're in there at 5 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. So basically, uh, Chino's pelvis seems a little sore, so we didn't ride him. The only way we knew was because he wouldn't lift his leg for her to to clean his... Yeah, and then we, and then we ran him in. He's short-stepping. So anyways, he's had that before. Like, that's his signature thing. He hasn't had it for a really long time. That's what he does when that's what he does when his pelvis gets sore, which usually has to do, aha, uh -huh. storm. When his feet aren't right, his pelvis goes out, and we have to have the chiropractor until we figured that out for a long time. And have the chiropractor all the time. And uh, Chino just got new things in the last month for his feet. He got a wedge, and he got wedge and, a, and pads. And I bet you, I bet you, I bet you he doesn't like the wedge. I bet you he doesn't like the wedge. You know why? He does the like the wedge though. How do you know? Because he moves better with the wedge. Mm -hmm. It's not even a wedge. It's just a pad. There's nothing there. No, he did. He put a little tiny wedge in there. On his heel. Yeah. But, Barely. but. Tiny. And it's he on one side. What wedges. foot is it on? Front left. The opposite one. Oh, okay. Well, like anyways, it. sometimes, like, if you change the way your horse moves, they can put their pelvis out. No, he out. always goes out. Yeah. No, but he and didn't for pelvis. a long time. He did last, last winter a lot. You booked it. You didn't book it this time. No, she messages me. Our chiropractor messages me every time she's going to be in the area. Well, our chiropractor is slacking. <laughs> our chiropractor is slacking. Anyway, so he's a little off, so we're going to get her to come no and do his yeah, okay. thing and we're getting ready for the show. So I guess that's it. So I'm gonna message the chiropractor right now and see if I can get her to come out as soon as possible and make Chino feel comfortable because nobody likes to be, have a sore back. Like you could tell that it was his pelvis. He was walking funny back out of the arena after Gabby moved him. He was, anyway, so I'm gonna try and see if she'll come out. Um, 
And then I wanted to tell you guys this before we end this vlog, before we get into the show vlog, Gabby's first ever jumper show, Sophie's final jumper show of the season. Um, Brandon posted a horse for sale today and it's this little tiny mare that I love more that than- mare? I love her. I love her too. We watched her go she's before. She's a classic mare. She's new and she's just little tiny. She's like 14-1 and she doesn't move. She refuses to move. She just sits in the middle of the arena and no matter how much you kick and, and no matter what you do, Brandon had, Brandon even can't get her going. One time he got her going because somebody ran with, with cookies to the end of the arena and so she walked him to get the cookies. She ran back to the barn to get with her friends. So anyways, um, he posted her today. He posted her for sale today and I saw it come up and it said Brandon posted a horse for sale in Project Horses and I was like, don't be that mare, don't be that mare because I felt it, you guys, when I saw that mare for the first time, I felt it in my heart just like with Gracie. I'm like, oh, I want her because I feel like horses like that need something specific. like. Imagine six months with her at our little farm with our girls out on the grass enjoying life and just being played with like just playing with Penny this last six months has done so much for me and for her and she just needs a friend she just needs a family and a bond and love and she's so cute and her personality is amazing like imagine being a horse and then just sitting just standing completely still just standing there calm and quiet as anything somebody some kid on you pushing and kicking and she just stands there and I want her like Sam I asked Brennan did you get a lot of messages about her and he said yes so if she's still there like in a week then I'm gonna she's still there on Monday I'm gonna go look at her okay you guys she's still there on Monday we're gonna go look oh, at her no. Vote yes, vote yes. Vote in the comments below. Should we get her? I'll put a picture of her somewhere so you guys can see her. But I feel her in my heart just like Gracie. And I know a lot of people think that horses need to be ridden all the time and be doing this and be doing that. I don't know. I think she needs some place that she can just land. I don't know. I love her. I loved her. I felt a connection with her and now she's for sale. So we'll see. We'll see. Don't you know that you're beautiful?